Hi guys and welcome back to Beauty Fortified and today I wanted to talk about brands that do really good blush for mature skin. Now of course this is a huge category but these are brands that I have used in in my experience deliver a really good result on mature skin. So what is it about mature skin and what constitutes a blush that's good for mature skin? So obviously as we age we start to get a little bit more texture on the skin we have fine lines and wrinkles and so we want something that's going to be very very smoothing on the skin that's not going to exacerbate pores fine lines and wrinkles and just something that is going to have a sheer kind of application but something that just really kind of melds with the skin. So that's what I would constitute as a good option for mature skin and today I'm not talking specifically cream or powder I have grouped them both together. Cream blush is obviously very very forgiving on mature skin but you can find powders that are also beautifully finely milled and very sheer as well so that's what I took into account when I was looking at my blushes and kind of getting a list of what I thought performs really well on mature skin. So most of the brands that I'm talking about are high-end, but I have included a drugstore brand as well that I think fares really, really well in the blush department. And of course, there are many, many brands out there. I have quite limited access being in South Africa. So these are things that I can get my hands on quite easily and readily. So the first brand I'm going to talk about is MAC, one of my favorite brands. And they have the Cream Glow Play blushes. Now these are really beautiful. They're just fantastic on mature skin. They perform well. They have great longevity and they just meld into the skin. You can apply these with a brush or with your fingers and they're just really forgiving. They're absolutely beautiful. The color pigment is top notch and they really do perform beautifully on mature skin. Another honorable mention I would like to give is to the blush warm soul now this is the new version i have done a video where i compare the new version with the old obviously you can't get the old one any longer but the new one is really beautiful and this is what i'm wearing on my cheeks today in conjunction with another one which i'm going to talk about coming up and that's a bobby brown crushed color lip and cheek tint but warm soul is just a beautiful i think it's quite a universal color if you are light to medium in skin tone and it has a tiny bit of shimmer. It's not obnoxious at all. It's not going to accentuate your fine lines and your pores, but it really is a gorgeous option for a powder blush. And this is just obviously one option from the MAC line. They do make what they call the sheer tone blushes. They make the matte sheer tones and the shimmer sheer tones, which are also beautiful as well. And I have done a video on my top MAC blushes, which I will leave a link to down below. So you can go and explore some of those if you want to but MAC in general do make really good blushes it's one of the things that they do really well. The next brand I'm going to talk about is Clinique and they I haven't seen a cream blush from Clinique well not in South Africa I know that they do do a chubby stick I think which is a blush but the ones that I have discovered this year are Gosh, I can't, uh, Blushing Blush Powder Blush, that's the name of the range. And I purchased two this year and I've really been loving them. The first one that I have here is called Sunset Glow and it's a kind of mauvey pink. It really is beautiful. It's got a little bit of a shimmer to it. It's nothing obnoxious. And the other one in the same range, which I really love, is called a glow. So it's more of a kind of beige nudie pink. And what I love about these is just their sheer application. They're really blendable. They just sheer out on the cheeks. They don't exacerbate pores and wrinkles. And they're just really gorgeous on mature skin. Another range of blushes that they produce are the Clinique Pop blushes, which you can no longer get in South Africa. I bought this many years ago and it's still going strong. And I have the one in the shade Ginger Pop. And this is one of my go-to blushes. It's just so beautiful. It's got a kind of satin finish to it. So a tiny bit of, definitely not a sparkle or a shimmer, but just something that brings the cheeks to life. And really the formula is just second to none. So if you can get your hands on these, I would highly recommend them. So that is Ginger Pop from Clinique. And then moving on to Bobbi Brown. Bobbi Brown do 
a lot of things well and one of them is blush and liquid blush I think is probably one of their best offerings and one that I've recently tried is the crushed creamy color for cheeks and lips and I bought the version in the color coral I have done a video on this as well which I will link down below and this is just beautiful on mature skin so these are not matte blushes they do have a kind of dewiness to them which does dry down so they're not flat and matte at all they're just really beautiful and youthful they don't accentuate pores or fine lines and really beautiful beautifully easy to apply and of course you can use a pop of this on your lips as well so these are really fantastic for mature skin I am probably going to be extending my collection and buying at least one other color in this range because they're just so beautiful you can't go wrong with them and they're just so easy to apply as well so really really love those and then a couple of other blushes they're not strictly blushes in fact Bobbi Brown calls them bronzers and I've got two and these are really gorgeous for mature skin as well they're very forgiving on the skin they are powders the first one I have is gosh okay this is in the shade Maui number three so this is quite a, a pink bronzer and it does have a little bit of shimmer to it as well and this is really gorgeous on the skin and then the other one I have from the same range is called Antigua so it's also considered they call it a bronzing powder and this one is a matte kind of satin powder so again it has got a kind of universal very neutral pink tone to it so you can use it quite liberally you can also use it a little bit on your forehead or just to kind of not really contour the face but just to add a little bit of color to the face so it's not a bronzer as such but really beautiful very sheer and very very forgiving on mature skin and then finally I have a good old drugstore and that is Revlon and this is in the shade Moveless now they did come out quite a while ago with a whole range of blushes and they are in the big square pan they look like that and these are really beautiful the quality is really really good for drugstore they're very very sheer they're quite pigmented but they can be blended out and really excellent value for money so if you can get your hands on these they're really really good and I would highly recommend them for mature skin so guys those are just some of the brands that I can recommend for mature skin just blushes that are really easy to apply that are sheer that are pigmented and that are not going to sit on top of the skin and exacerbate your fine lines your pores and your wrinkles so let me know what blushes you swear by for mature skin please leave me a comment down below I would love to hear from you I am going to leave you with a link to my MAC video on my top MAC blushes if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up Please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao.